Hello, everyone. This is Brother Donnie. I'd like to welcome you to the life and diary of David Brainerd, day number 15. And we are in the midst of talking about Brother Brainerd's testimony as he is going through talking about it. One thing that I should have pointed out, it could be said, I think correctly, that David Brainerd and his love for people and his motivational spirit to see people evangelized really kicked off the modern missions movement. And many missionaries that came after him read this same writing that I'm reading to you. And my hope is that it will inspire you to do something for the Lord. I realize some of the uh, wordage is archaic, but I hope that it blesses you. Here's Brother Brainerd. For about three or four days, my soul was thus greatly distressed. And at some turns, for a few moments, I seemed to myself lost and undone. But then would shrink back immediately from the sight because I dared not venture myself into the hands of God as wholly helpless and at the disposal of his sovereign pleasure. I dared not see that important truth concerning myself, that I was dead in my trespasses and sins. But when I had, as it were, thrust away these views of myself at any time, I felt distressed to have the same discoveries of myself again, for I greatly feared being given over of God to, to final stupidity. When I thought of putting it off to a more convenient season, the conviction was so close and powerful with regard to the present time that it was at best and probably the only time that I dared not put it on. It was the sight of truth concerning myself, truth respecting my state as a creature fallen and alienated from God, and that consequently could make no demands on God for mercy, but must subscribe to the absolute sovereignty of the divine being. The sight of the truth, I say, my soul shrank away from and trembled to think of beholding. Thus he doeth evil, as all un unregenerate men continue to do, hates the light of truth, neither cares to come to it, because it will reprove his deeds and show him his just deserts. That's John 3.20. And though some time before I had taken much pains as I thought to submit to the sovereignty of God, yet I mistook the thing and did not once imagine that seeing and being made experience, uh, experimentally sensible of this truth, which my soul now so much dreaded and trembled at, was the frame of soul that I had been so earnest in pursuit of here herefore for i had ever hoped that when i had attained to that humiliation which i supposed necessary to go before faith then it would not be fair for god to cast me off but now i saw it was so far from any goodness in me to my own to my own self spiritually dead and from any goodness in me and destitute of all goodness that on the contrary my mouth would be forever stopped by it and it looked dreadful to me to see myself in the re relation I stood in to God. I, a sinner and criminal, and he, a great judge and sovereign, as it would be to poor trembling creatures to venture off to some high precipice. May God bless the rest of your day, and we'll see you tomorrow.